Hey guys, it's Reefaholic. I just wanted to do a quick video on marine parasites with your reef tank or maybe your fish only system. And I've got some things written down that happened to me in the last several days. And I just want to kind of tell you guys what had happened and exactly what all I did. It's going to baffle your mind. I think I know who the culprit is, but I'm in the process of trying to find that out right now. When I last got out of the hobby for a little while, I sold my microscope, and I wish I would have never done that. But I'm in the process of looking for another one. I'm going to get an even better one. Let's get on with the story. I got three clowns, and I got a bicolor dotty back. You guys saw that video where I got them home and I freshwater dipped the fish five minutes to knock off any external parasites. Then they went into 40 milligrams of chloroquine phosphate. Which I transfer every three days to make sure that there's not ick on the fish. It can stay on a fish for a minimal of three days and a maximum of about seven days. Whenever you transfer every three days, it just helps if there's any parasites that have already came off of the fish and they're on the bottom of the tank, you're taking the fish out and you're moving them to another quarantine tank. Those parasites stay in that tank and in the other tank you have very few numbers and when you do that over several times you basically outrun the parasite but when you're running a medication in the water it helps for those parasites who have fallen off the fish who may try to get back on the fish they're not going to be able to do it uh, they're going to be paralyzed so to speak and they're not going to be able to seek out a fish host now after I did two transfers, this is already, we're already at the seven day mark. I noticed that the fish were showing some signs of discoloration on the top of the head. And one fish's eye was looking cloudy. So I'm like, well, what's going on with this? I thought that they, the clowns had been fighting or something like that. However, that turned out not to be the case. So, I moved them out of the CP because I thought, well, maybe they're having a reaction to the CP. I moved them out of the CP into acroflavine MS, which is like the really good stuff. It'll turn your water like a yellow green, like bright yellow green. And it's supposed to be really good for bacterial infections and certain parasites. They stayed in that for about two days. And then I visually observed that there was a lot of flesh like discoloration on the fish because that medication like soaks into those areas. It kind of dyes the fish, I guess is what you, what you would say. I really thought, wow, we got a parasite on our hands and um, the water gets kind of cloudy. After about two to three days, somewhere around there, I ended up moving the fish because I didn't really feel like they were doing a whole lot better. They did seem to be doing a little bit better, but I said, you know, I'm gonna move them over to formalin and just go in that direction and see how that does. So I moved them into formalin 37% um, dip first for 50 minutes. And that really knocks, that's a really strong medication. You have to aerate the water. but that'll really knock off a lot of external parasites. So I did that first and then I moved them into a formalin bath. Okay. 
after they were in the bath for a little while, I never really gained control. You're supposed to add two drops every couple of days until you gain control, where, where at this point the fish were at that critical point where I couldn't add two drops and then wait a day and then add two drops. So I would add two drops and then the next hour I would add another two drops and then another two drops and I kept watching the fish and never really gained control. They didn't really have a bad reaction to it, um, but I just was not gaining control. So I texted Humble Fish and he and I were talking about what it could be, what the symptoms were, and I ended up putting them in um, 80 milligrams of chloroquine, back in chloroquine, just a higher dosage because Humble Fish thought that maybe that would get it. So we did that and it really had zero effect. One fish ended up dying 12 hours after we had talked and then the other three were just not having um, any improvement. So as a last resort, I went back to acroflavine because it seemed like they were really um, trying to respond a little bit in that medication. And I've had good luck with it before when I've had these same exact symptoms. But long story short, the fish, all three of them, all three of the clowns ended up dying. Uh, the bicolor dotty back that I had in there with them, she did show discoloration, but she never, she, she never quit eating and it, it wasn't affecting her that bad. Um, you know, it's weird, different fish show different signs and different behaviors with different parasites. So I'm just really not sure what it is. I want to say it's going to be uranema, but there's a possibility it could be brooklinella because it's very, very similar to brooklinella. And there's a small chance I'm even thinking, thinking it could be velvet, but I don't know. Um, I'm in the process of working with some local aquatic veterinarians and there's actually a guy in Western Australia who will take a sample, a dry sample, and identify it. So I'm probably going to mail a sample off to him as well to get a second opinion. But I did get one of those fishes that were covered in it and I put it in some water that was in the aquarium in a sandwich bag and I, I double bagged it with another bag and I put it in the refrigerator because you don't want to freeze it. So hopefully we can identify what it is, but it just baffled my mind that what all the fish had been through, the amount of transfers that I did and still nothing touched this parasite. Now I don't know if this is like a strain or some, of something that is really resistant to multiple kind of medications or what, but I have a feeling it's uranema because I've dealt, if you look at my videos, I've dealt with this exact same thing before. The fish have equilibrium issues. Um, they have excess mucus. You can see the bubbles sticking to all the mucus. It just really, I wish I had my scope. So bad I wish I had my scope, but I don't. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, leave them below. When I do get it diagnosed, I will get back to you guys with another video and let you know exactly what it was. But I've treated Brook, I can beat it. I've treated Velvet, I can beat it. I've treated Ick, that's easy. I've treated them all, flukes, I mean, you name it, and most of them, I can beat them, no problem, which is why I think this is your anema. So we'll see, guys. I, I, I don't know what it is, but we'll see.